Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to our online Sunday school. It's a joy to be here with you today as we get to learn about what the Holy Spirit does. Um, it's Pentecost. Can you say that word out loud? Pentecost. And that's 50 days after Jesus rose from the dead. Each year we celebrate Pentecost and we talk about what the Holy Spirit does. And you're going to read uh, the story of Pentecost with your parents. Maybe you already have. That's Acts 2, verses 1 to 21. It's a neat story, and I'll highlight some points. There the disciples are. They're upstairs in a room upstairs, and they're all in the same room. And then they hear a sound that says, like a rushing wind. Maybe you remember the storm that came through the other day, and you remember how loud that wind was. Then, I got something for you as well. Then they looked around, and all of a sudden... They saw what looked like flame on top of their heads going around and, and they were wondering what's going on. But God had given them those two signs, the rushing wind and the flame on top of their heads to say, you're now filled with the Holy Spirit because Jesus promised he was going to send them. And God, many centuries earlier, had also promised that he was going to send the Holy Spirit. So what does the Holy Spirit do? My question for you is, how do you know who Jesus is? Because you read it in God's word. That's what the Holy Spirit does. He works through God's word, and he tells people through the Bible about Jesus, what Jesus has done, that he died, and that he rose, and that he's now um, in heaven, ruling all things for us, and Jesus is with us always. So I brought some things here to show you and to encourage you. Uh, some neat things. On Pentecost, another cool thing that happened to the disciples was that the disciples began to speak other languages. Why? Because those people from other countries who didn't speak that same language needed to hear God's word about what Jesus has done. So I brought some Bibles. First Bible. This one you know. This one's in English. I could open it up and you'd understand it. Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the word. And, uh, no, that's John 1.1. 1, 1, excuse me. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. You, would, you could read it. You could listen to it. And you would know what they're saying because uh, it's your language. And God is working through this Bible, the Holy Spirit. He's strengthening faith in Jesus as he tells you about what Jesus has done for you. Next Bible I have is this one. And it says, Santa Biblia. And um, it's for people who only speak Spanish. Or maybe they know Spanish and they want to keep practicing. But, but through this, this language of Spanish, it's like the same thing in English. God is working as his Holy Spirit creates faith by telling people about Jesus and strengthens them. And this is, you know this passage, it says, En el principio creo Dios los cielos y la tierra. I can speak Spanish a little bit. I, I studied some. But that said, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. This one, this one's old. It's German. So people who know German, they can read this Bible and then they can, uh, they can learn about what Jesus has done for them. I can't speak German, so I can't read it to you. Sorry. This is another one. This is the one that I just got recently. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to hold it up so you can kind of see it. Yeah, those w letters look real weird, don't they? This is Vietnamese. So people who know Vietnamese, they can read about Jesus and hear what he's done for them, that he died for them, that he forgives all their sins, and then that they're going to heaven. And the Holy Spirit works through this. Here's another one. This one. Look at that. Huh? Those look like funky letters. This is Hebrew. Hebrew. So this is what the Old Testament is. Books like Genesis, Leviticus, Exodus. They're written in this one. And Genesis 1 1 says, That's Hebrew for, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So that's Hebrew. So people who know Hebrew can read that. This one's Greek. So people who know Greek, the Bible's for them. This one's just the New Testament Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And the first, so I'll, I'll read. Um, I'll read John 3.16. Maybe you know that passage. I bet you've heard it before. It's a beautiful, beautiful passage. Let me get there. I lost my spot when I closed it last. Um, and John 3.16 says, 
hustus gar hega pesen ha theos ta kosmen hosta tan huion tan manogene edokin hina pas ho pistoion heis auton me apoletai ala echee zoen ionion that probably sounded really strange, but that's Greek. And that said, in their God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. It's through the gospel, through God's word, whatever language it might be, all these different Bibles, right? God's Holy Spirit works and he comes to you and he fills you with courage and boldness and he gives you strength to be able to do, to do what? to tell others about Jesus. To tell them and say, Jesus loves you. Look at what Jesus did for you. He died for you. He rose for you. And now because of Jesus, you get to go to heaven. That same Holy Spirit that was with the disciples as they spoke different languages and made them really brave and really courageous to go to places they've never been before and tell others about Jesus, that's with you. You got it through God's word. God gave you his Holy Spirit through the word and also in baptism. God gave you his Holy Spirit so he is with you as he works through his word as you tell people about Jesus. He's with you. Let's, let's fold our hands and pray. Dear Lord, thank you for speaking our language and telling us about Jesus in the language we can understand. Thank you for giving us your Holy Spirit who brought us to faith through the word and through the waters of our baptism who continues to be with us, to strengthen us, and to help us, and to keep us. Help us tell others about Jesus because of your great love for them, too. Help us share your word through which the Holy Spirit works. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, boys and girls, we will see you next time. Take care.